What is up you guys, it's Modern Warrior here. All right, so I just first want to start off by saying I had an amazing, amazing, amazing weekend at Drum Fest 2024. It was in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and it was just incredible. It was at Sweetwater Studios, and it's basically like Sweetwater's headquarters. So they have the world's largest uh, guitar pedal collection. They have just so many instruments, and of course they have drummers and many different musicians who come there. Um, so I just also want to start off by saying that I apologize for not posting in quite a while. Has been a few years since I've last posted, so it's been a little bit. But anyways, um, I certainly want to post um, much more frequently because I know I have 4,000 loyal subscribers and you know, I certainly want to give you guys a lot of content. So just expect a lot more content coming soon and um, I'll get right into it. So I was fortunate enough to meet um, Art Cruz of Lamb of God. I know some of you guys know him. And then I was also obviously able to meet Ray Luzier of the band Korn. And um, there were a lot of amazing things we talked about. I was fortunate enough to have um, a good amount of time with him because I know when most people get to meet a celebrity, um, they only get maybe five, 10 seconds, but I was fortunate enough to get quite a bit of time where I could actually have a full on conversation with him. And it was a lot of fun. Um, it was just amazing. So anyways, um, so he, first off, he was talking about, um, I mentioned how I really enjoy Requiem, you know, Korn's newest album, 2022. It is, a, it really is an amazing album in my opinion. And he really appreciated that. And he said that Requiem is some of his favorite drumming that he's done in the past 10 years, really. Um, so I'm assuming he's comparing it to the round Paradigm Shift album, probably to the drumming of that album since that was about 10 years ago. Um, so that was the first thing. And the second thing he actually did mention was that um, the new album that's coming out as maybe know for this year, he did say that is some of his favorite drumming that he has had in about 10 years. So these past two albums overall, some of the best drumming he's done. So I'm excited about that. Another thing he told me about the new album, it's going to be raw. It's going to be aggressive way more than anything recently. So I've heard about um, the guitarist of Korn, uh, Brian and Monkey. I think it was Brian who said this, that guitar tone is going to be unlike nothing that you've heard pretty much. It's gonna be some of their best. And, um, you know, Ray's drumming is gonna be their best, but overall it's gonna be raw. It's gonna be aggressive. It's gonna be like, he said it's gonna be like their old albums, like completely blowing everybody away with how raw and aggressive it is. So that's just, I'm so excited about that aggression and that rawness and it's his favorite album in 10 years. He also said, they are not going to be using clicker tracks. So that is telling me it's going to just be just raw. Just It's not going to be super refined. They're not going to be trying to hit every single note as crisp and as clear as possible. They're just going to give it a raw new sound that's going to be unlike Requiem, unlike the Nothing, unlike the Sram Suffering, just completely new. Something will blow everybody out of the water. So, I mean, I have been loving their previous albums or new albums and nothing requiem amazing you know even going back to serenity of suffering and paradigm shift really good albums i mean they really are they're amazing albums sure each album has a couple songs or you know not the best of the best but overall those albums the ones i just listed four of their most recent have been just incredible so this new album that's coming out i am so excited for it and he seems to be super excited about it too and um, I got a, it was really cool. So other than him telling me about that and me telling him about how much I liked Requiem, um, he signed a drum head for me and uh, that was just so cool. So, and Art Cruz also signed drum head and he signed a little poster, like a headshot poster of himself. So that weekend was so amazing. I 100% recommend going to Sweetwater Sound if you're near it in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And um, it was just amazing. I mean, even if you don't, aren't able to go there on the day where they have, you know, musicians like Ray Luzier. Um, you can still go there. They have the world's largest pedal collection. They have amazing instruments like guitars, pianos, bass guitars, drums, anything you can think of. Um, they have 
they have it all. It's it's an amazing place if you're into music at all, or even if you're not into music, it's it's so much fun there. So I highly recommend going there if you haven't. But anyways, that is really it. I will certainly um, put some video, um, put some pictures in this video of me meeting him and kind of going around um, Sweetwater Studios. So uh, I just want to end the video by saying thank you guys so much for being patient of me posting. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and there 100% will be more just like this. And um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And, you know, leave a comment below what what new videos you want me to make? You want me to make drumming videos, guitar videos, maybe a car video. Um, there certainly are like there are a lot of options. So don't forget to drop all those down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys.